I was looking at that Black Black Adam trailer. You know, I guess, you know, it's really a sparse trailer. It doesn't give you any idea what's going on other than, uh, you know, everything is about, everything centers around Black Adam. You know, his reemergence in the modern world, you know. He's supposed to be from some fictional country. They approximate, I guess, Egypt or something. He was a slave, you know, apparently a big muscular slave. Nobody else was a big muscular slave back then. He was given the powers of... He was given superhuman powers by Shazam, the wizard, right? And he wakes up in the modern universe and he has to contend with the modern superheroes of that time. When I don't know exactly what year that he's supposed to be waking up because it just doesn't seem... Yeah, I can't, I can't tell what year it is that he wakes up in a modern age. And uh, he has to fight like Dr. Fade and Hawkman and uh, Adam Smasher and some other, like... You know, character, I don't even know who it was. And, you know, I was watching it and everything, and I, you know, I hated the fact that he didn't have a widow's peak. They didn't just make him spot on, but, you know, it just looks like The Rock wearing a, you know, it looks like The Rock doing cosplay and shit, basically. You know, it's just like, damn, can you get, come out of your persona? Can you come out of your fucking persona just for a minute and shit and actually embody a character, sink in, be a true actor and sink into a character, you know? He's worn wigs in earlier films, and I guess, you know, since he's one of the biggest stars on the planet and earns the most money, you know, he's up there, you know, you know f economically speaking, you know, he's no big, great talent and shit, he's a big, big, strong guy, you know, he made his deal on wrestling and shit, I don't have to go into that, but when I was looking at Black Adam, I just saw The Rock wearing a cosplay suit, you know, you know, it's just a shitty cosplay, you know, he has like a... He doesn't have the widow's peak, you know, just, I wish he would have went the whole way and just did the whole look, you know, even, he doesn't even have the pointed ears that uh, Black Adam was given, it, you know, originally, you know, to signify that he's uh, the polar opposite of Shazam, he's the, the negative image of Shazam where everything a hero shouldn't be, you know, they didn't do that, but more importantly, when I was looking at it, and I realized that uh, Black Adam had uh, been resuscitated in uh, somewhat modern times, you know, in the past, in the DCEU's past, that there's just something missing from from the the mix that should be there, front and center, or whatnot. And, uh, you know, I think if they would have added this one ingredient, uh, you know, you'd have a blockbuster on your hands. I mean, you got The Rock in the movie. It's going to make some money and shit, but is it going to make the money that it should make? It's going to be the blockbuster that it should be. I don't think so. You know, they've, uh, you know, they've, uh, what, race swapped Hawkman? You know, it was originally a white guy, now it's a black guy. I'm not really tripping on that. You know, I am tripping on the, the costume and just looks, you know, bulky and everything. I say everything's so bulky. Everything is the same, like, uh, you know, superhero suit with a weird basketball like texture on it and everything. I'm just like, man, can we get, we need difference, okay? And I, The Rock is an executive producer, so. This shit falls right on his head, you know? And I know he has to clout that if he cared enough that he could make it, you know, something really special. You know, maybe he's used up all his clout. I don't know. But one thing that is actually missing from the movie that should be front and center in the movie is Wonder Woman. Yeah, Wonder Woman, right? Gail Gadot's Wonder Woman should be in this film of also fighting him alongside the Justice League. Because in, uh, it makes sense. Yeah, I know they're scrapping the DCEU. But like in Wonder Woman 8, 1984, she was doing things surreptitiously behind the scenes. She was starting to come out again and starting a crime fight. And it would have been nice to see that, you know, in the past that she contended with Black Adam. Maybe she helped, you know, lock him away again or something. We don't know what's going to be the conclusion of the film. He wasn't, he was mentioned in Shazam but not seen. And in Shazam's sequel, he is not the villain. When he should be. He should quite clearly be the next villain, that mirror image of, you know, of the hero. Even though they did it with uh, Dr. Savannah, which I thought was kind of strange. But it just worked in its own, you know, you know, little bubble. But I think that since he's not in Shazam, and, you know, he's got his own movie coming up. You know, I think that Wonder Woman should be a part of the cast. I think Gail Gadot should be a part of the cast. They would ensure that it's a uh, a blockbuster. You know, I think she would do it, you know, if you gave her the right money. 
you know, she probably wants to bury the, the, the stink off of her own sequel. You know, she was done a great disservice by her own uh, co-executive producer and director, uh, Patty Jenkins, or not. They delivered her dud and shit. You know, I'm not putting that on her shoulders. She's a talent. And I think she would enhance Black Adam's fortunes, you know, if she was at it. And that's all I really have to say. Uh, please, uh, i like to hear what you think, uh, you know, in the comments section below. You know, please hit the like and uh, possibly subscribe. Uh, thank you very much.